Before we begin, I would like to apologize because I made a mistake in my recent video. On my one shot Nuker Excalibur video, I did say that I will be going to show you an ultimate farming setup for Necros. I'm sorry but that was a mistake, I was referring to an ultimate farming setup for Korra. I know some of you are struggling farming those resources for the new Helminth system, and I would like to help by giving you a build that will aid you in farming those resources fast. Take note that this build has a regular variation, and a subsumed variety. Lastly, I will just show you the farming build in this video, as I currently getting all the details on where to farm all Helminth resources fast. It's about 50% complete and I will show it to you once it's done, for now. Let's focus on the best farming setup for Korra and, be sure to check until the end as I'll be announcing another giveaway for this month. Before the Heart of Deimos update, Necros was my main man when it comes to farming resources. However, this changed when I finally saw the big gap between Necros and Korra, with a pilfering strangle dome build, modded with lots of range plus the accumulating whip claw augment. Korra can beat Necros when it comes to farming those needed resources for the Helminth system. There are two reasons. First, Korra has the best lazy method farming in the game, you just find a good camping spot, cast Strangle Dome, and kill those dangling enemies with your Whip Claw. The second reason is that it's easier for you to keep Smita Kavat alive. What's the point of Smita Kavat squad leader? Well, this Kavat is one of the most important ingredients in farming Helminth resources fast. Keep this cat alive, and she will grant you a buff that provides extra loot. Basically, if you have Pilfering Strangled Dome, Resource Booster, Resource Chance Booster, and your Smita Kavat, expect that you'll the Queen of War farm and get all those resources fast. Also, remember that Steel Path is a thing now, which by far is the fastest way to farm resources. The only problem with Korra sometimes is getting a Goose Stat Stick for her Whip Claw to hit hard. I am lucky to have this Riven, which allows my Whip Claw to do insane red crits but honestly, you won't need this kind of setup if your only goal is farming the game. 30 minutes on each survival mission can yield lots of resources and if you don't have a god roll ribbon as a stat stick, then try your sword with this build. A 12 times combo counter, this build can kill enemies in a few whack of your whip. Ok, now let's get to the fun part. What Helminth ability is perfect for Korra? To be honest, there are a variety of abilities you can give to Korra but that depends on the build you are using. I did try a Petrify Strangle Dome build but it turns out ugly, in theory. Orgaze and Pilfering Strangle Dome may give you lots of loot, but you'll have problems in mean maxing the build. If you are going to use this, then you'll choose between getting rid of some of your survivability and giving more power strength, which in return, you will have to lower the range and cost you with lots of energy consumption. It's not efficient and instead of adding more loot drop chance ability, I prefer making this camping specialist build complete. That can be done by adding the Proteas dispensary ability. At first, I was hesitant since I can't find anything to replace in Korra's abilities. But then, I'm not using Insnare for this looting setup so I decided to replace it with dispensary. Venari is a little useful, because it's a free and reliable source for primed animal instinct which helps you a lot in terms of enemy pathing in survival missions. With Dispensary, I have a sure way of acquiring energy without needing to go out on my camping spot to get those energy orbs. However, this is just a personal preference though, with or without Dispensary. Koro is the best for farming resources right now in the Heart of Deimos update. Now that you know the build and frame, all you need to know is the location on where to farm those Helminth resources fast. I will give you that video once it's done but for now, enjoy the other Helminth videos that I will be releasing next. I have something special for our Jojo frame bimbo. Before you head out, I would like to inform you that I already emailed the winners for the Horizon Zero Dawn giveaway. I did not display the name like before for privacy reasons. But you all got a hint where the winners live, so, please check your email and reply as soon as possible so I can give your prize. I'm just waiting for the replies of the winners so I can finally give away those two copies of Horizon Zero Dawn. Also, there's one giveaway that is currently active, and it's the Deimos Swarm Support Pack. You can join by simply clicking the link below and, I'm feeling very generous right now that I will host another giveaway, also in the pinned comment. There's a link for the 300 Platinum giveaway for this month. Just simply click the link to join and good luck to you all. Be sure to check back later for the Helminth Bimba video. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off. This is the future. Human error. Evolution. This.
is the future. Mm-hmm. 